offers a key entry point to enhance women's empowerment. We know that generally rural women cannot own or control a lot of assets, while in fact they can control livestock. When women have a difficult time accessing bank accounts or credit and so on, livestock can provide credit. They talk about a walking bank. We know that livestock provides daily produce and therefore also income that the women can use and they can control uh, to feed themselves and the family. So we know that despite the fact that they can control livestock, they generally control livestock less than the men. In case of intensification, women tend to lose out and lose control over those assets. We are trying to really support and utilize livestock against those challenges to support women's empowerment. I believe strongly that the Ilri gender team needs to provide the evidence about how and under what conditions can livestock support women's empowerment. We need to provide also a new understandings and thinking as a research for impact institute about the link between livestock development and women's empowerment. So we are taking stock of what we know. We've been doing integrating gender analysis in livestock research for some years now. And what is important now is that we really look at what we have learned. What is it that we know now? And and also identify the gaps. What is it that we do not know yet and that we want to know? And we also need to strongly position livestock in the one CGIAR because of this key entry point that livestock offers vis-a-vis -vis also crops and other commodities that the CGIAR is focusing on. I don't think we have attained gender equality yet. I think this is work in progress. In terms of our work and what we have been doing, I think we are really at an important point in time in the sense that gender equality is one of the five impact areas of the 1CGIR. So really one of the areas that we need to push forward and to make progress on. I do think it's very important that we also address the root causes of inequality. So engaging with gender transformative approaches, understanding how they can really bring sustainable change in collaboration with the communities themselves, in probably combination with more accommodative approaches. But I think we, there's so much work to be done there for sustainable and participatory change towards gender equality. What I find impressive about the CGIAR is that there are so many gender scientists that are working on one aspect of the farm, of you know, the livestock keeping communities. And I think what is very important that we really find the synergies so that together we can join forces and you know, build a body of evidence on what solutions work to move towards gender equality and all together to build this bigger picture that really is the farm. The farm is a complex system and all of us can bring in the point of view of their commodities so that we can really work on gender equitable food systems. Mm -hmm.